What's good? It's your boy Fanon. All right. I know y'all missed the conversation. <laughs> so I'm coming back to it, man. My favorite promoter to make videos about is Eddie Hearn, clearly, because he always has something funny, ridiculous to say. And he's not disappointed me. He made a statement about the pay for Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, if Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury did 1 million pay-per-views in the United States. And he says that if that was the case, if Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury do 1 million pay-per-views, then Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury become uh, Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder fight is a 50 50 split. (laughs) And I know that anybody that pays any close attention to this knows that that is funny. Well, and before I get into that, though, let me thank everybody that subscribes to the channel. Thank you very much for listening to the video. Also, for those who are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And that way you can be notified when we release more videos. Also, thank you to everybody that supports the channel on Venmo, Patreon, and the uh, Super Chats and the live stream. Your support is much, much appreciated. And also, please remember that 78 Sports TV will be... uh, when he regain when he starts doing his live streams again in October, we're going to be doing a super chat challenge on his channel. And I am daring people every day until that time. If I can, if I can remember it um, for every video, I'm issuing a challenge to beat me in the super chat, the super chat challenge over on 78 sports TV's uh, uh, first live stream. Now let me read what this guy says, Eddie Hearn. And then, Tell you what I think about it. He says. Will still be the A side, but Wilder would increase his value in the fight. Talking about the um, how if they if Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder does well, I think it raises his profile in the U.S. Everybody wants to see Joshua Wilder fight. It's got to do one million pay-per-view buys for it to be a 50 50 fight. Right. Now, I won't go into anything else other than that. So let me assure you that if Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury does a million pay-per-view buys, Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder is not a 50-50 split. It becomes at the most a 60-40 split in favor of Deontay Wilder. Because if you do a million, and let me put this out here first, I don't believe that it's going to do a million pay-per-views. I think that that is... I think that is very, very, I think that's on the high end and I just have to be straightforward about it. I think if they do, um, 500,000 pay-per-views, the same thing would apply. I think it's a 50, 50 split at 500,000 pay-per-views. Um, but I think it'll do somewhere around there. 450,000 pay-per-views, 500,000 pay-per-views. I think that that right there would make it a 50 fight, 50, 50 split. But and for the reason that I'm going to say that a if it does a million, if it did a million, you, uh, Eddie Hearn can kick rocks. Not only is Anthony Je- Deontay Wilder the A side on that fight, he's the big A side on it. If a pay per view at sixty dollars a pay per view, sixty dollars a view for on pay per view for Wilder Joshua, if it did a million, that's sixty million dollars in pay-per-view. And I know we're talking gross. We're not talking net. I'm not talking about what you pull out numbers. You pull out for paying this guy, that guy, and the other guy, because when you look at Anthony Joshua's pay-per-view, we don't do that. Analyzing that I'm talking about gross revenue brought in by the ecosystem of the bout $60 pay-per-views in the UK at 1 million. I mean, in the United States at 1 million per brings in $60 million from the pay-per-view alone. Also, you have to include the gate for a Las Vegas. You can assume that the gate is going to be somewhere between 15 to $20 million gate for Anth- for Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. That is significantly smaller than Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin, whose gate the first time was somewhere around $28 million. So if you get $60 million, for the United States pay-per-view, 
15 million for the gate. That's 75 million dollars. And then you do another pay-per-view over in the UK and just say it does 500 pay-per-view, uh, 500,000 pay-per-view in the UK, which I believe is conservative, but 500,000 pay-per-view in the UK at roughly 20 American dollars, uh, 20 American dollars. That's an additional $10 million in revenue for that fight without Anthony Joshua being involved. So 60 plus 15 to 75, 75 plus 10 is $80 million. That means $80 million worth of revenue for a fight between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury in the United States. Anthony Joshua's revenue for fights that he does in the UK, the biggest ones that he do in the UK does not get over $50 million or excuse me, $53 million for Vladimir Klitschko's. The ecosystem of the Vladimir Klitschko fight was $53 million. So if you look at $80 million brought in roughly $80 million, right? Let me do it again. 60 plus 15 is 75. 75 plus 10 is 85. So 85 million in the United States versus $50 million in the UK that Anthony Joshua does. That is not that on its face tells you two things. Number one, the fight's happening over in the United States. If they did a million dollar, a million pay-per-view buys, the fight Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder would have to be done in the United States. It would not go to the UK because the money wouldn't be there. So, and the upside, the second side of it is that Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder would be a bigger fight than Anthony jo- than Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. But where would the upside come from? The majority of that upside comes from the United States. Because then you say, all right, now Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder do, does a million. The gate goes up. Well, they might do 1.5 in the United States. If Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder can do a million, isn't Anthony Joshua a big name? But the upside on the fight comes from the United States side. And the fight would have to take place in the United States because Deont- Deontay Wilder would have earned more money in a fight than De- Anthony Joshua ever did. Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko did was estimated to do. You really never know because Sky Sports does not release their pay-per-view numbers. And I know the, oh, it's on Barb. It's not on Barb. You can get a bunch of numbers from Sky about Sky off of Barb but you cannot get their pay-per-view numbers off Barb. So anybody saying that they know what the numbers of pay-per-view are in the United States who did not talk to somebody at Sky Sports does not know. You don't get them on the internet. They've got to tell you what those numbers are. Regardless, you can see that at a million pay-per-view buys, Deontay Wilder is the A-side and he's A-side by, Deontay Wilder is an A-side and the A-side by a stretch. Because if people in the United States are going to watch, a million people would watch Deontay Wilder on pay-per-view to fight Tyson Fury, then the same amount of people might watch to see him fight somebody else or a little bit less. But then if he does a million pay-per-view, he's always there, but he'll always be pay-per-view. But personally, I think to be a 50-50 fight, all he needs is to do 500,000 pay-per-view buys. Because if he does 500,000 pay-per-view buys at 60, at 60, right? That is 30 million for pay-per-view, 40 million for pay-per-view. If you get the, the same numbers over in the UK plus the gate, right? So you lose, uh, basically it's not 85, it becomes 55 million. It becomes 55 million, which is the same number that Anthony Joshua did against Klitschko. So really, from at least my look at the numbers, in order to be a 50-50 fight between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, a 50-50 split, all all Deontay Wilder has to do is get 500,000 pay-per-view buys. Because 500,000 pay-per-view buys with with 500,000 pay-per-view buys in the UK and a $15 million gate in Vegas equals anything Anthony Joshua's ever done. 50-50 
I mean, 500,000 pay-per-views makes Anthony makes it a 50-50 split. But the fight also has to happen in the United States. If he does a million pay-per-view, it's more like 60-40 in favor of Deontay Wilder. Because like, you know, the, the, the saying goes, money talks, BS walks. The pay-per-view for Gennady Golovkin versus Canelo Alvarez is going to be around $70 for Canelo Alvarez versus versus um, Gennady Golovkin. Real boxing fans watch heavyweight championship fights, man. And Anthony, But I'm not going to say what it's going to be. I don't know. I think that it's going to do around 500,000 pay-per-views. About half of what Deontay Wilder usually gets for his fights on Showtime. And I love how this change of tone, right, is that uh, everybody wants to see Wilder, uh, Joshua versus Wilder fight. Well, look, if everybody wants to see Wilder versus Joshua fight, that'll tell you that nobody wants to see, no, nobody's interested in Joshua versus anybody else. And if Joshua needs Deontay Wilder to make a fight that everybody wants to see, that also makes it a 50-50 cut. The way that I see it, so look, 50, if it was, if this fight had gone off when it originally happened, when it was originally being talked about before Deontay Wilder's name got big, bigger because of the ducking of Anthony Joshua, it could have been what would have been fair, I think would have been a 65, 35 split. If we were talking about this fight, if this fight had been made for March of this year, then 65, 30, 65, 35 would have been fair. It had been a fair split for Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, but that's not been the case. They didn't make it. And as a result of them not making the bout, Deontay Wilder's profile raised in the United States and it raised in the UK. And who cares why it raised? I'm sure it was helped by the fact that he keeps knocking people out. But aside from that, it doesn't matter. His, his profile has raised he is going over to the UK and is very widely recognized in the UK. People in the UK now will tune in to watch Deontay Wilder fight because of his because he has a reputation of being the guy that Anthony Joshua was scared to fight. And that's in the UK. If he does that in the he so he brings a significant amount of intrigue to the fight just with UK fans. And if he's able to so if he's able to show that he can get 500,000 pay-per-view buys in the United and, and establish that type of monetary gain, uh, that type of monetary performance in the United States. No friend, it's not 50, 50, it's 60, 40. And on top of it, he's the lineal heavyweight champion and the WBC champion. And he beat the guy that got, that owned all the belts that Anthony Joshua uh, owned. And more than likely he's going to be the favorite to win the fight. If he knock, especially if he knocks out, Tyson Fury. So, you know, it is what it is and people can think what they want to think, but those numbers that Anthony, that, De- that uh, Eddie Hearn just threw out, Eddie Hearn needs, should know better. He should know better. The And if it comes anywhere near a million pay-per-view buys in the United States, there's no way that fight goes to the UK because they can pull in more money in the United States and like it or like it or lump it, Anthony Joshua's already topped out in the UK. His number's not getting any bigger in the UK. What he has there is what he has there. And if anything, his numbers have already taken a hit because he's looked at far and wide as a coward and not having to fought Aunt Deontay Wilder and can't act like that's not the case because it's all over the place. But anyway, it is what it is. And with that, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>